Oh, Jesus, Jesus, give me a minute. Okay. Um, okay, recordarle. Um, sorry. Oh, yes. Okay, just give me a minute, please. Sorry. I need to I need to fix something here that happens to me. Okay. Um sí, igual felicitarlo, ¿verdad? Por el tiempo que se pues se está tomando por um pues por asistir. Yes. A, a lo de los cursos y igual se le motiva a pues um, a seguir dando lo mejor de usted. Sí, yo sé que pues si está acá es pues porque ha tomado pues el esfuerzo, ¿verdad? De pues de participar, de, comp de complementar las asignaciones, la verdad que usted pues se le piden, ¿sí? Y pues por lo cual pues se le felicita y, y al mismo tiempo pues se le motiva pues a que um, esté siempre partícipe de, de eso, ¿verdad? Donde usted puede pues, complementar las actividades que están en la plataforma y pues... Um, pues asistir a las clases right, y, y la participación activa siempre. Okay, uh, so we're going to start with, with the content that we have, which is section number one is very uh, uh, is a very exciting place. Okay, with adverbs before adjectives. Uh, this is pre-intermediate English module number one. And this, I'm sorry, module number three. And this is class number one. We're going to get with some questions so we can like get to know each other really quick. So I would like to show you some questions. Uh, and we have double H questions and yes, no questions. Okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Where do you live? What do you do? Why are you studying English? Do you speak any other languages? Are you married? Do you have any children? Okay. So that's that's the other one. Uh, do you understand these questions? Do you understand these questions at home? Yes. Let me know. Yes. Let me know yes. if you yes. understand. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Gabriela Noemi Orellana. Hello. Good evening. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Double H questions. Good one, two. Paloma. My pleasure. Uh, one, two, and three. Please read the question and give me your answers. Thank you. Excuse me? Read the questions and give me your answers, please. Uh, okay. Um, where do you live? Les tengo que responder a eso, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Very good. Okay. Um, I'm from in Chalatenango. I'm from in Chalatenango. Yes, continue. Number two. Okay. What do you do? I am studying English. Okay, okay. Number three. Okay. What? No. Why are you studying English? Yes. Mm. Um, no, why why are you studying English? Okay. Exactly. Thank you so much. Por qué? Why are you studying English? No sé cómo decirle. <laughs> okay. okay. Because because I I want to learn another okay. language. Okay. Be because I learn. I want to. I want to learn. Learn another. Mm. Another. Uh, repeat, Gabriela. Another. Gabriela, repeat another, another? language. <laughs> language. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hola. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. I think your internet connection is is, is 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 breaking a little bit. Kenya, Roxana. Hello, Kenya. Good evening. Thank you. Tell me question one. Questions one, two, and three, please. Read the question and answer, please. I live in San Salvador. Um, <laughs> yes, that is correct. I am comerciante. Like like a like a business person, like a vendor. Vendor. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think, I think. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um number three. I like language English. Very good. I like Thank it. Uh, you like it. Oh, that's good. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Luis Miguel Mejia. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, where do you live? Uh, I live in San Jacinto, San Salvador. What do you do? I am a graphic designer. Why are you studying? study English because I love English and I want I will go to travel in the future that's wonderful right First New day. York New York okay as another right. place that you can visit right that's the attitude thank you so you're a graphic designer yeah okay Oh, that's that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Alejandra Elizabeth. Hello, Alejandra. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, you. Sounds great. I'm perfect. Everything Thank is you. awesome. Do me a favor. Read questions one, two, and three. Yes, no questions. I'm sorry. Double H okay. questions. Okay. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Cuyurquita. What do you do? Uh, I work in a pharmacy for the moment. Uh, where did you study English? Because I learn more English, especially in fluency. Oh, perfect. I my... mm -hmm. Just in number two, what's your professional occupation? What do you do? Uh, I work in pharmacy. Yeah, but what's your profession? Uh, what, what... The, the, I customer. I, I don't know, is client the customer or attending the customer? Oh, like, like a cashier? Yes, or like a, uh, yes. like a salesperson? The, the, the word. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Wonderful. Remember You're that number, number two is about your occupation or profession. So what do you do? Well, I am a student. I am a vendor. I am, I don't know, a lawyer, a graphic designer, a psychologist whatever yep whatever is your job or, or your occupation thank you so much uh let me see who else is missing okay what a work with maria delmi hernandez de montoya esta es de aquí mire yes no questions okay okay do you speak any other language how um, <laughs> i I know uh, two languages, but I, I uh, don't don't speak the uh, like uh, like a professional. No. Oh really? So so you speak Spanish and English, or do you have another one? Yeah, uh, German and French. Oh, that's fantastic! That's fantastic! Uh, but, but I. I know uh, I don't speak mm. like a professional. Oh, so you, you know the basic, no. let's say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Basic. That's good. Is it is it difficult? Uh, no. Oh, German no, is 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 more like like English. Oh. That's quite that's good. Thank you so much for letting me know that. What about question number two? Are you married? Yes, I am married. 
Uh, do you have any children? Yes, I have two children. Oh, that's great. What are the names? Uh, uh, Fernando and Gabriela. Oh, how old is Fernando? Uh, uh, he is 20 years old. Oh. And, and Gabriela? Gabriela? And Gabriela has 28 years old. Has or is? It has or is? Um, has. Is, is. Exactly, is. Is, is, is. is, exactly. Don't forget that little thing, like verb to yeah. be, right? Yeah, that thing, okay. okay? This is very yeah. tiny, but is. okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you so much, Maria, okay. for sharing that. That's very nice. Thank you. Elba, Esmeralda, Figueroa, thank you. Yes, no questions. Read the question and give me your answer, please. Okay, teacher. Mm, do you speak, sorry, do you speak any other language? Uh, no, I don't. I don't speak any other language. Uh, number two, are you married? Uh, no, I know I am not married yet. Uh, number three, do you have any children? No, I am not. Uh, no, I am not, or no, I don't. No, I don't have. Uh, oh, perfect! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, wonderful. Yes, Thank nice you. to meet you. Okay. My Thank pleasure. You too. Please. Blanca. Hello, Blanca Estela. Good evening. Good evening yes, no questions, please. Read those and give me your answer. <laughs> no, I don't know. I speak in any other language. Mm. Number two. No, I know Maria. Number three, no, I don't have children. Thank you so much for sharing that. Nice to meet you, my pleasure. Cindy, Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Yes, no questions, please. Thank you. Cindy, I, I, don't, I don't hear you, I don't know why. Yes. I mean, I don't know why I don't hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I don't know if the rest of your class may hear your voice. Do you hear Cindy? Carolina? Do you hear Cindy? Yes, teacher. We hear you. We hear you, Cindy. Oh, so you hear Cindy, but I don't. I hear you, teacher, and Cindy. Oh my gosh, but I don't hear Cindy. I don't know oh. why. Yeah, that's so, not good. I'm sorry, Cindy. I apologize. Wait. I think this soon this is having like a trouble with that because I'm sorry. Okay. And it's nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Edgar. Hello, Edgar. De Jesus Maldonado. Hi, nice to meet you. Yes, no questions, please. Read the questions and give me your answers. Where do you live? I live in London. What do you do? Um, I am degree in computing. What do you study in English? Um, because I want to learn the language well. Do you speak any other language? Mm, no. Are you married? Yes. Do you have any children? Yes, I have uh, two children. Thank you so much, Edgardo. It's nice to meet you. My pleasure. Thank you. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Yes, no questions. Please. Okay. Do you speak any other language? Mm, no, I don't. So, words in Japanese. But, but neither. Are you married? No. No, I'm not. Do you have any children? No. 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 That's expensive, I right? don't. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Catherine, for sharing that. Okay. okay. It's nice to meet you. My pleasure. 
Ursula. Hello, Ursula. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Vinin. I'm doing well. Oh, that's Thank wonderful. You for oh, that's about wonderful. You? Yes, no questions, please. Go ahead. No questions. Okay, so do you speak any other languages? Honestly, yes. I study French language. I can say some words like uh, how are you? Um hello, bye, and see you soon. Uh, but yeah, um at that moment I practice that language because I love in French, I love the culture and and the country. Are you married? I'm single. Do you have any children? No, I have done children. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. Thank you so much. That was very good. Okay. Let me see if we have another one here. Um, Sandra, Lisette. Hello, Sandra. Hello. Good evening. Nice to have you. Question, yes, no questions, please. Okay. Do you speak any other languages? I don't speak other languages besides of Spanish, but I am near to speak English. Number two, are you married? No, I am not married. Number three, do you have any children? No, I don't have children. Okay, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Okay, my pleasure. Welcome. Uh, who else is missing? Uh, Esmeralda Flores. Andrea Esmeralda Flores, right? Yes? Hello? Hi. Good evening. Yes, no questions, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, do you speak any other language? Um... And only Spanish and English. <laughs> Are you married? No. no. Singer? No, I don't have children. Thank you so much for communicating that. It's nice to meet you people. Okay. Um, welcome. I hope that we can have a lot of practice. Okay. So thank you so much for being here. Okay. Let's check. Uh, we're going to have this thing. How objectives to describe places. Let's take a look at the pictures here. So we have these pictures. Do you see these ones here? Ursula Jamilet Cornejo, please describe these two pictures. Please tell me. What do you see? What's the place? Okay, so the first image I think that is um, uh, Z. Here we, we can see at sea, uh, beautiful houses. Um, also, we have a view, a beautiful view. On top of that, we have um, um, let me think. <laughs> it is Santorini, I guess. Yes. Um, I can say that it's a beautiful place that offer um different culture um and something like that. And then the second image I can say that is um a, um maybe it's a neighborhood. Uh. It, ha it has um, a lot of rust, I don't know, in the street, so I can say that. I don't know, what do you think my classmate about to be much? Thank you so much, Ursula, for describing this, right? So we have, we have two, let's say, what can you say about these two pictures, Luis? I mean, something that you can say, oh, 
we have two pictures. Tell me, what, what can you say about these two pictures? Like, uh, what is one characteristic that you notice? Maybe one is clean, mm -hmm. uh, another is sucia. Dirty, no right? Dirty. 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 Exactly, right. So we have two adjectives, right? Two adjectives. If you see, this adjective is positive or negative? It's positive. Okay. And what about this one? Is positive or negative? Negative. Exactly. So we have the opposite, right? So this is beautiful and this is like ugly, right? So we have like the opposite. We're going to work with these adjectives here. Gabriela Noemi, read these adjectives, please. This adjective, column A, beautiful, Gabriela. Okay. Continue. Yes. Plan. Mm -hmm. Inter interesting. Yes. Yep. Quiet. No, quiet. Okay. Uh, relaxing. Relax. Safe. Spacious. Spacious. Very yeah. good. Thank Spacious. you so much. Okay. So these are adjectives, right? If you see in the other column, in column B, we have more adjectives, as you may see, right? Yes, Kenya? So please, boring, continue, carry on. Reading. Crowded. <clears throat> Crowded. Dangerous. Expensive. Noise. Polluted. Polluted, stressful, ugly. Okay, very good. Do you understand, everybody? Do you understand these adjectives here? Do you understand the meaning of these adjectives? Teacher, yes. Yeah. Polluted, polluted, what's mean? Polluted. Oh, polluted. polluted is like this one. There is a city. Oh. Like like the trash yeah, with yeah. a lot of trash. Ah, trash. That's oh, polluted. Okay. For example, rivers, I don't know, lakes and, and natural areas are polluted with a bunch of trash or chemical products. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Dangerous. Do you remember Michael Jackson? Dang. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, what about the rest? Do you understand? What are you going to do? You are going to tell me, for example, which one goes with column A from here. For example, beautiful. Which one? What is what is the opposite? What is the opposite? The opposite. Ugly. Of, Ugly. Ugly. Exactly. Ugly. Okay, so we're gonna have here we're gonna have um letter H, right? Yes. What about cheap? What is that? Expensive. 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 Okay, letter D. Thank you. What about clean? Clean, dirty, polluted, polluted, dirty. right? Polluted, oh, polluted. Okay. very polluted. good. Polluted, thank you. What about number four? Interesting, interesting, boring. boring, 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 right? Yeah, so the place is boring, very good. Quiet, the stressful, Quiet. Stressful. Noisy. Stressful. Noisy. Noisy. noisy, very noisy. good. Noisy, right? So we have letter E, noisy, very good. Relaxing. Stressful. Stressful. stressful, yes. Here we have yeah. stressful. Safe. Dangerous. Dangerous. Let's see. Dangerous. Dangerous, right? Dangerous. What about letter and number eight? Spacious. Spacious. Crowded. 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 Letter B, right? Crowded. So it's spacious, like a big thing, and then crowded, like quite small. Okay, now West. tell me two more. <laughs> Two more, please. Like, oh. tell me one adjective and then it's opposite. Yes? One adjective and it's opposite. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, what, what, white house? Okay, like, like white, you're telling me? Uh, yeah. White. And white what is the houses? opposite? What is the opposite? Uh, black. Oh, very good. Yeah. Black. That is correct, right? So we have white black. and black. Yes, so that's the opposite. Okay, give me another one, please. Um, small and big. 
Oh, very oh, good. Yeah. Very good. Small. Yes. Yeah, so, and the other one is big, right? Mm -hmm. Big. Okay. Very good. Yes. Uh, and then we're going to describe. Yes. Describe them with a partner. For example, I can say, oh, this place is beautiful. Right? Yeah. It is expensive. Right? And, and I like it. Right? So, we can use these adjectives to describe places in English. That's the way we do it. So, you can say, oh, El Pital. How can you describe El Pital? It's called. It's called. Very good. It's what else? It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place with beautiful views. It's in the mountain. It's in the mountain. And it is? It's relaxing. It's rela relaxing. Very good. Very good. Yes. What about El Tunco Beach? What about El Tunco Beach? How do you describe it? El Tunco Beach is a beautiful place. It is a beautiful where, place where you can surf the beach, surfing, surfing. Are you, the you, you can you surf, can, you can do surf, can very good. Yes. It's, noisy. it's a noisy place. It is a noisy place. Yeah. Okay, very good. Very noisy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about let's work with la <laughs> what about Downtown, Centro de San Salvador, downtown. Mm. How is that place? It's very youngy, really okay. youngy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's very youngy. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Noisy. It's, it's stressful. A stressful, it's noisy. noisy. Just negative things, right? Is negative? <laughs> dangerous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dangerous? Oh, like dangerous. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe, it's right? Crappy. It's dirty. Very good. Mm -hmm. oh, crowded right. also. It's very oh. crowded. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for participating on this one. Um, let's take a look of the following this thing. Okay. We're going to have weather. Okay. Or great. Okay. Beaches. Polluted or fantastic? Prices, reasonable or expensive? Okay. Let's listen the audio and then you can tell me how is the weather? Okay, you're great. Beaches, polluted or fantastic? Or prices, reasonable or expensive? Okay. okay. Perfect. Let's listen and let's then answer. Unit 11. It's a really nice city. Page 72. Exercise 2. Conversation. It looks so relaxing. Part A. Listen and practice. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear, too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital. About 200 kilometers. A little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. One more time. Remember the weather. How is the weather? Okay, or gray. What about beaches? Right. Beaches, bloated or fantastic? Okay. Prices, reasonable or expensive? One more time. You say reasonable? Unit 11. It's a really nice city. Page 72, exercise 2, conversation. It looks so relaxing. Part A, listen and practice. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. 
The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear, too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about 200 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Thank you. So tell me, number one. The weather is great in Republica Dominicana. Uh, what about the beaches? The beaches are fantastic. 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 Okay, very good. What about the prices? Are reasonable. 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 For tourists, are reasonable. Very good. But okay. What is, what is the the country we're talking about here? Um, Punta Cana, Republica Dominicana. Republica Dominicana. Okay, thank you. And where is located that place, that country? In the Caribbean Santo sea. Domingo and Oh, in the Caribbeans, right? In the Caribbeans. And what do you know about it? What's, what's it like? Yeah. What's it like? What do you know about Dominican Republic? Like? It's an island. Yeah. Yes. There are two two countries exactly. in the oh. island. Okay. Unit 11. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let me play the audio about this thing, which is, um, it looks so relaxing. So I will play the audio. What I want you to do is listen and check. But I'm sorry, I almost forgot that I need to take the attendance. Okay. So I'm going to take some minutes so I can take the attendance, okay? Just um, hold on. Okay. Let me see. Here we go. Uh, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. Present. Thank you so much and good evening. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Andrea. Oh, my pleasure. Nice to have you. Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Blanca Estela Lara López. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Good evening. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado Maldonado. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado Maldonado. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Present teacher, nice to meet you. Nice to have you. Welcome. Thank you. Gabriela Noemí Orellana Tejada. Present, mister. Welcome. Nice to have you. José Antonio Montes Fuentes. José Antonio Montes Fuentes. No, okay. Catherine Joanna Calzadilla Alas. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Welcome. Kenya Roxana Ayala de Balas. I'm sorry, de Velázquez. <laughs> Present teacher. My, my pleasure, and I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, Kenya. Oh, I'm sorry, I did it already. Luis Miguel Mejia Alas. I'm here, teacher. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Maria Delmi Hernandez de Montoya. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice, nice to have you. Sandra Lizeth Elizondo Merino. Present, teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Cindy Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Here. Perfect. Nice to have you. Ursula Yamilet Cornejo Martinez. 
I'm here. Good evening. Thank you so much. Good evening. It's nice to have you. And it's nice to meet you all. Okay, let's continue with the conversation we have here. One more time, I will play the audio for you. Yes. So you need to listen and read. Okay. Thank you. Unit 11. It's a really nice city. Page 72. Exercise 2. Conversation. It looks so relaxing. Part A. Listen and practice. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana, in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear, too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital. About 200 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Unit 11. It's a really nice city. Page 72. Exercise 2. Conversation. It looks so relaxing. Part A. Listen and practice. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana, in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear, too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap. But prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital. About 200 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. So this is the, com what is the place we are talking about here? Dominican Republic, Punta Cana in Dominican Republic. Exactly. So, so we have Punta Cana, uh, Dominican Republic. Okay. Uh, what are the adjectives that we have related to this place? Relaxing, beautiful, relaxing, beautiful, beautiful. expensive, great, great, fantastic. Um, Yes, what about the prices? Expensive or reasonable? Reasonable. reasonable. Okay. Pretty reasonable. A exactly, right? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to open the breakout rooms so you can join with your partners and practice this conversation. Yes, let's just let me check the time if I have the chance. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we don't have the time. So we're going to do it here in the class. Okay, so I will request on participation. We're going to work with you, Kenya. Your partner is going to be this gentleman whose name is Luis. Luis, you are Ron. And you, Kenya, you are Camila. Ready? Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, that photo is really cool. What is that? That's a bit near, near with house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It, it looks so relaxing. I heard the really the area is really beautiful. Yeah, is it the worst is gray and there are some fantastic beaches. The worst is really clear too. Is it expensive there? <laughs> Well, it's not cheap, but price for tourists can be pretty reasonable. 
Mm. And how far is is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital. Capital about two hundred kilometers. Um, little over um one hundred twenty mil mil miles. It sounds very. It's it sounds very interesting. It's interesting. I saw I saw plan a trip there something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we have a few mistakes on pronunciation, but very good. Great job, Blanca Estela. Yes. Blanca, you are Camila. Edgardo. Hello, Edgardo. Is Edgardo, I don't, I don't hear you. I don't know. Something happens with your mic. Okay. Oh, yeah, I apologize. Also, uh, with you, let me see if it still works. Um, Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Hello. E Edgardo. Hello, Edgardo. No, I think we have a problem with Edgardo because I don't hear you. Okay, Blanca, I'm sorry. And Maria Delmi. Yes, Maria, you are yeah. Camila. And Blanca, you are Ron. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, that photo is really cool. Where is that? That's, that's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in Dominican Republic. It looks so relax, re, relaxing. I feel the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices by for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Mm, um, how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about 200 kilometers, a little over uh, 120 miles. It's some very interesting. I should learn a trip there sometime. Okay. Thank you so much. That was very nice of two of you. Okay. If you hear, right? So that's why I, I needed to pay attention to your classmates so you can hear the way they pronounce some words that maybe you can say, oh, I mispronounced this one, right? So you can figure it out by yourself. Y como usted mismo se va corrigiendo ahí la pronunciation, right? So escucha a sus partners y dice, oh, esta la pronunció ella de esta forma o él de esta forma, right? And you fix that pronunciation, yes? Very good. Thank you so much on this one. Um. Let me show you the next activity, which is this one. We're going to have this question about what does Camila say about entertainment in Punta Cana? Yes, that is the question. What does Camila say about entertainment in Punta Cana? So I will play the rest of the audio so you can listen and you can figure it out and you can answer this question. Yes. Do you understand at home? Yes? You got yeah, it? Yes, oh. teacher, I got it. Perfect. I got it. Yes. If, if, si alguien no entiende, let me know. Me avisa, please. Let me know. Ya sea aquí, en el mic, o en el chat. Anytime. So I can repeat the thing. One more time. I will play the audio, and you need to focus on this question. What does Camila say about entertainment in Punta Cana? Yes? Let's listen. Page 72, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Camilla say about entertainment in Punta Cana? So what kinds of things are there to do in Punta Cana? Oh, there's so much to do. There are beautiful beaches, of course. 
You can go scuba diving, see dolphins, ride a horse on the beach. Really? I've never ridden a horse on the beach. It sounds fun. Anything else? Yes, there are a lot of nightclubs. Dominicans love to dance. That's great. I love to dance too. Page 72, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Camilla say about entertainment in Punta Cana? So what kinds of things are there to do in Punta Cana? Oh, there's so much to do. There are beautiful beaches, of course. You can go scuba diving, see dolphins, ride a horse on the beach. Really? I've never ridden a horse on the beach. It sounds fun. Anything else? Yes, there are a lot of nightclubs. Dominicans love to dance. That's great. I love to dance too. Okay, so tell me, what does Camila say about the entertainment in Punta Cana? There are so many beautiful beaches, um, mm -hmm. right on um, horse. Um, she, she dance, dance, dance yeah. in nightclubs. Yes, very good. What what that what do Republicans uh, Dominican Republicans like to do? She's she's a special dancer. Uh, exactly dancer. right. They love dancing. That's what they yeah. love. Very good. Love Thank you dance. so much. Love. Exactly. Page seventy. Thank you. We're gonna have a video just to check a little bit of the grammar content. Let's listen and watch. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Sorry. So what do we have here? We have adverbs before adjectives. So if you see these ones are adjectives, right? Nice, expensive, big, noisy, crowded. Yes. So those are the adjectives. Yes. Right. And before, before, antes, we have an adverb like really, fairly, very, two yes so the adverb goes before the adjective yes 
right? Use a or an with adverbs plus adjective plus singular noun. It's a very modern city. An or a, a, the adverb, very, the adjective, modern, and then the noun, city. It's an expensive city. Do not use an with adverbs. Plus, it's, it's really interesting. Okay. Con estos, right, it's really interesting. We don't use that. Okay. Uh, again, what is the idea? To use the adverbs before, before the adjective. So this is the adjective, like expensive and big. And this is uh, the adverb before. Let's listen. Page 73. Exercise three, grammar focus, adverbs before adjectives. Punta Cana is really nice. It's a really nice place. It's fairly expensive. It's a fairly expensive destination. It's not very big. It's not a very big city. New York is too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Yes, so one more time. These are the adjectives to extremely, very or really, pretty or fairly or somewhat. And these adjectives goes before an adjective. This is the adjective nice, this is the adjective expensive, and this is the adjective big or crowded. Yes, the adjectives that we were working at the beginning of the class. Yes, right? So uh, this is the way we used it in English, okay? This is like adverse before an adjective, just to make like the statement or the context, just to emphasize it a little bit. Yes, so just to communicate, adding a little bit more to the context that we have, right? So I can say, it's a nice place. Si yo digo, it's a nice place, sin el adverb, pues tiene sentido, right? Makes sense. But if I want to make it like more like attractive, the statement, I can use the adverbs. Oh, it's a really nice place. Yes, it's not very big. Yes, it's fairly expensive. Okay, so uh, we will continue working on these ones tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Great job. It's nice to meet you, by the way. Nice. Good night. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good night.